So what did I learn by having a dating app? So I learned a bunch of things. It wasn't a huge dating app. I think it had maybe 17,000 members at one point. And at a certain point, I shut it down. I've talked about this before. Now, the reason I shut it down is because my site was um, essentially invaded by a bunch of swingers. And I got nothing against swingers. You do what you want. But I just, you know, this is back in the, uh, I don't know, it was the 90s or something. This is back in the day when, you know, that, you know, I didn't want to be the swinger guy, you know. I want to be the coding swinger guy. I would have to code in Ruby and all kinds of weird stuff where, you know, smoke cigars and and wear robes and silk robes and silks. Anyway, I decided I didn't want to be that guy. One of the big reasons I left, and, you know, all joking aside, was because I saw the distribution of guys to women in the dating apps at that time. So what I saw, and apparently it's quite common, there was a lot more guys to women in those days. It was like 10 to 1. So, you know, I had whatever, 17,000. It was 16,000. <laughs> Well, whatever. I only had 1,700 women, something like that, maybe 2,000 or something, I forget. And so there was this imbalance, and it was one of the issues I was dealing with at the time. I said, geez, I got this great imbalance. I got all these guys, 10 guys for every one girl. You know, it was like the, the girls were had a huge advantage in that situation. So I remember I was trying to figure out different ways to get more women involved. And I think, you know, I, I would imagine since that time, well, I know since that time, online dating is mainstream. Of course, everybody does, not everybody, but a lot of people do it. Back in those days, it was very, uh, it was not, it was, it was so new still. And uh, anyhow, so what did I learn? I learned there's a big disparity between the amount of men and versus women. In the process of looking at the data and debugging and building the system out, I saw that, you know, I saw that. I saw women were just bombarded with messages. Men uh, had a much harder time reaching out to women. It became a bit of a moral issue for me whether or not to keep the system going. I felt guilty taking men's money because I knew that they were they were really uh, in a bad situation, competitively speaking. It's not a good situation, you know. In business, you want to set yourself up, you know, so you have a decent probability of success. Uh, if you're on this an online dating site where it's ten to one, it's not a good situation for you. For a woman, it's a very good situation. Anyway, this is all. This is nothing new. I think you guys all know this. I'll just have to tell you from somebody who's actually looked at the data, who's built the systems, uh, seen it work. Uh, there's no question that is the case. Would I build an online dating site today? Probably not. I'm sure there's money in, in, in a way. I suppose you come up with a new angle. So there you go. This is what I learned about building an online dating app. It was a site. It was an app. It was prior to smartphones, if you can imagine that. And um, it was fun in a way. But in other ways, it, 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 I, I question um, the business model morally. And I'm not uh, casting aspersions against other uh, sites, although I've been hearing that uh, they do some really nasty things like fake profiles or seed sites with fake profiles. And they'll even take it a step further. I heard that they'll have, uh, when people join a site, they'll have a fake profile for men, targeting men. They'll have a fake profile of a woman, good looking woman, uh, reach out to the man and have one or two conversations and then disappear, ghost on them, just to seed them, if you will. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know, that's really, that's pretty pernicious, that's pretty bad. I don't know if I, I, I don't know if you could block that, I don't know if that should be made illegal or not, I don't know. I think perhaps, the, you know, maybe if, you know, I don't know, maybe if you would have a law where the, uh, the online site would have to publish their uh, women to men ratio in a given region, yeah, you know, we have, you know, 10,000 women and uh, 50,000 men. You know what I mean? Or we have 10,000 women and 10,000 men. I don't know. Maybe they should publish that data uh, just to give people an idea of what's going on. You know, why not? You're right. If you have uh, cars, you know, there's consumer reports for cars and for all kinds of other products where you, you, you get an idea at least what it is you're buying into. Now, we, we know... I think a lot of us know that the, the odds are, 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 are what they are for people out there on these dating sites, not just in terms of um, 
men to women ratios, but also in terms of uh, you know looks and and other statistics. Uh, there's no question. Anyhow, there you go. Uh, I learned through online dating uh, that owning a site that uh, women have, uh, generally speaking, tremendous advantage, especially good-looking women. Uh, I know that uh, I know that personally. Although I, I've used them and I use the sites, uh, I find that I prefer meeting people at a coffee shop or at a grocery store, store or something. You know what you get right away, you know? That's my advice. And if you're wondering about all that type, type of stuff and understanding the psychology behind it, you should take out, check out my course, Lizard Wizard. It will teach you everything about that. It will improve your prospects, dating, and, and many other aspects of your life as well. All right, links below. Bye.